Pit McKee, Patrick Brown, Go Vols 24-7 here with our no huddle in Orlando the final day before game day. Tennessee, Iowa getting ready to play in the Cheez-It Citrus Bowl tomorrow, New Year's Day. They'll play next year uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern on ABC. Just got done talking to Kirk Ferentz, Iowa's head coach, and Josh Heupel as well. The final joint press conference of the week going into the bowl game. Not a lot of talk about the actual bowl game, more big picture. State stuff. of the Union. Yeah, and, and sport. I thought it was really good. I, yeah. I could listen to Kirk Ferentz talk all day long. I, I don't know that I was necessarily uh, expecting that. Uh, before we get into the big picture, State of the Union address that, that was mostly had and held, uh, I guess the, the one big thing that was asked as it pertains to Tennessee, to Josh Heupel, was about Joe Milton and, and mm -hmm. how he can still have an impact on the sideline. Yeah, and Heifel, you know, said basically that nothing that Milton has done all season will change except for the fact he's not playing. So right. he's been here with the team this week. Uh, he's going to be on the sideline tomorrow. He'll be able kind of to be like an extra coach for, for Nico Iamaliava in his first start. And uh, obviously those two have built a good relationship over the past year. Um, and so uh, what Joe says, I think carries, you know, I think Nico listens to him. Um, and that's something that uh, they, they had those two have a good connection, and, and that should help Nico in his first start against good defense. Yeah, and the other, the only other thing that stood out to me from Heupel as it pertains to Tennessee in the actual football game uh, was that he did make the comment. Now he always makes this comment, but he said preparation and practice has mm -hmm. been good uh, both back home before they traveled down and during the the bowl week preparation. It, it's been really good, uh, and that was kind of a comment in, in regards to a question asked about the attrition and, and kind of the all the moving parts. He says that he likes the, the preparation of this team, and we've rarely seen a, a Josh Heupel coach team at Tennessee not show up ready to play football. So I think it's fair to take him at his word. Yeah, I mean, this is their third bowl game with this staff. I, I think the staff does a good job of, you know, when it's football time, when they're on the practice field, when they're in meetings, you know, they make sure that the guys lock in. But they want them to enjoy the, enjoy the experience. And, <clears throat> you know, they, they've done a few things in Orlando this week as a team to, you know, lighten the mood and, and make the experience fun but you know you'll, what you'll remember most and he said this before is that you remember what happens if you won or not so that's that's obviously the focus for Tennessee and, and I think there's a good you know we talk about who's not playing the, the people that are playing are either a lot of young guys who are going to be excited to have, you know have waited to get their chance or it's a, some some older guys guys that are playing their last games the Jacob Warrens the Aaron Beasley's that you know they want to go out and win you know that, that they want to win their last game and uh, that, that's what they want their kind of parting moment to be and so I, I think you know with Nico coming in, I think that's probably given a, a jolt of excitement to a lot of guys who want to play with him maybe in their last game so um, th this should be a, a focus team you would think you know we'll, we'll have to see what it looks like tomorrow because you never you never you can never say never in bowl games you know you just never know what what teams are going to show up like and I'm sure Auburn didn't think they would be down 21 nothing after the first quarter yesterday against Maryland but um, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see if Tennessee can come out and, and be sharp and do what they need to do to get a win. Yeah, in terms of the, the big picture stuff, it, it was a lot of questions about the current state of college football, uh, given the Georgia-Florida State score and, and, and just some of the imbalance in, in mm -hmm. these football games uh, outside of the playoffs. And uh, we will have full video. It's currently uploading if the Wi-Fi would, would cooperate, so maybe a minute. But we will have full video of the press conference. We'll have transcripts up as well, so uh, we'll simplify it. Uh, but I encourage you to go to go watch the whole thing. Like I said, I could listen to Kirk Ferentz talk all day. Josh Heupel had some good thoughts as well. But the two things that stood out to me in terms of the issues with college football, what needs to change, number one is the recruiting calendar. It's just not. Yeah. And, it's bad. And, and, you know, both these teams are, have been in an area where they're, they're, you know, could be playoff teams when it's 12. So, you know, for, for Josh Heupel, one of the things that he said that stood out is that the first two weeks of December, he's almost always on the phone, in a home, at a school, traveling because that's that's the busiest time of year for recruiting and you know if you're playing a first round playoff game that's right in the middle of December so you got to you got to balance that in and how could you not prioritize the football game the playoff <laughs> right, game right and it, it's a playoff game, right but, so, but I mean, then if you prioritize the playoff game then you may lose several guys on the recruiting trail. recruiting portal yeah i mean that yeah and and Ferentz made um his base the, his best thing i thought was that the sport needs a commissioner yes that was this that was my second biggest takeaway the the calendar is very messed up right now, and the second thing being that they need a commissioner, and not only do they need a commissioner, but they need a commissioner that's going to enforce things as well. Kind of need to blow it up right now. There, there's no structure. I love that he talked about the NFL. Yeah. All 32 teams are on an even playing field. Same rules. Same rules. They start from square one. Now, obviously, some teams do better than, mm -hmm. than other teams in, in playing with those rules and, and playing within the rules, but... 
uh, th there needs to be everybody needs to be on the same playing field. And then not only do you need the commissioner to have everybody playing on the same playing field, but when rules are broken, they need to be enforced. Yeah, and that was the two biggest things, and a lot of fans of college football love that college football is not the NFL, but there are a lot of ways in which going the NFL route could help mm -hmm. this sport, and the two that he touched on were enforcement and structure. But, you know, that's he, the, what this sport is One of the lacking. best things he said was early on, he said, we, the adults, have messed yes, it up. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, this is a guy that's been coaching, it was his 25th year at Iowa. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think they've only had two coaches the last, like, 40-something years between – uh, you know, between a couple of guys they've had. So um, he, he's definitely old school, so I think a lot of fans are probably uh, of the same mindset that he, that he is. Yeah, he, he was spot on. And like I said, we've got plenty of coverage up at that, uh, up of that at Go Vols 24-7. We've still got plenty of preview coverage for Tennessee and Iowa coming to the site today as well. Bold predictions, game prediction. Uh, your matchups, matchups is already up or about to be mm, up. Sure. About to be up. I've got stuff coming as well, so plenty of coverage to get you ready for uh, Tennessee, Iowa tomorrow, including a podcast, so be sure to look out for that. He's Patrick Brown. I'm Ben McKee.